The shirt makes me so happy. Why? The straight, the default, it makes me so happy. I don't know. I just, ah, excuse the nerdiness freak out that I'm having. Welcome to Wonderland, it's Ari here, and today I am doing the LGBTQIA P plus book tag. Uh, I do not remember who originally created the tag video, but I've seen two of my favorite booktubers do it, and so I decided I would do it as well. Um, and this is my very first kind of innocence coming out video, so hi guys! <laughs> uh, so there are several questions I'm going to be reading off my phone and then I'm going to answer them and they're going to be book related, LGBT related, and all the other things. So let's get into it. Question one is how do you identify? I identify as bisexual. I am, I occasionally identify as queer as well only because I am more attracted to the female gender than I am to the male gender. Um, I realized I was bisexual back when I was 17, 16, 17 years old, so this was like a few years ago. Um, I came out to my friends first in 11th grade and then I came out, well was forced out to my parents, uh, but they are very religious and very homophobic and not to say anything to religious people or anything but they kind of also use that as an excuse to be homophobic so for safety reasons I had to go back into the closet I actually did a blog post about this a while ago back in June for pride month so if you want to read it I will link it down below but I mainly identify as bisexual I am romantically and sexually attracted to male and females, but I am more attracted to females than I am attracted to males. So sometimes I will say that I am queer. The second question is, what are some of your favorite LGBTQIA plus books and authors? Oh boy, this part is gonna be long. Okay, so I have been uh, really getting into reading more diverse books, especially on the LGBT spectrum. Um, so. My library is slowly but surely growing, but at the same time, I have so many favorites that I can't not mention all of them, and fortunately, some of them are for L, G, B, and T, and A, so I will show those off, but forgive me, because this portion will be long. So first, I want to recommend and say that I love Nina LaCour. She is amazing. I loved her book, We Are Okay and Everything Leads to You, which featured lesbian main characters or queer girl main characters because uh, I can't really say for sure, but I'm pretty sure that she is a lesbian, but some people think she's bisexual. Some people just say queer as a, you know, umbrella term, but I recommend Nina LaCour. I also recommend Sean David Hutchinson. Uh, his gay book, is We Are the Ants. That's the only one I've read, but this is his new book, The Apocalypse of Lena Mendoza, which features a lesbian main character. So I am looking forward to reading this, but I wanted to recommend Sean David Hutchinson in case some of you don't already know. My favorite book and the very first gay book that I ever read, and I and miraculously we came out at the same time, um, that is Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda, my favorite book ever. My favorite YA book ever of all time, of anything. I love Becky Albertalli. She is an amazing author, but this book is so sweet and so cute, and I I am so looking forward to the movie <laughs> coming out, um, to seeing the movie, but I love this book so much, and it features my gay friend, Simon. I say gay friend because really he is my best friend. It, he lived, he, he was real. He, he is my best friend, so I love him. Um, I also want to recommend, as far as another author, uh, Adam Silvera, because I've read and have all of his books. I read and have all of his books, and they feature gay main characters. There's More Happy Than Not, uh, History Is All You Left Me, and they both die at the end. They're kind of sad, but they're bittersweet sad, but they all feature gay main characters. Well, this one also has a bi character in it, so I'm kind of happy about that. I also want to recommend uh, Audrey Colehurst, I believe that's how you say her name. This is her book, A Fire and Stars, and her new book, which is not out yet as I'm filming this, but it's Ink Mistress, and it features bi girls, 
which I'm so happy about. Fantasy books with bi girls and ink mistress has demigods in it, so I'm excited. But I love this book, and I think everyone should give it a reread if they haven't read it already. So that's that. I also want to recommend uh, Jen Wilde, her book, Queens of Geek, I have not read yet, but this is her new upcoming book, The Brightsiders. Amazing bisexual representation, I must say. I completely love the main character, and it was such good representation of bisexuality, so at least in my opinion, from my experience. So I love this. It comes out in May of 2018, but I love this book so much, and you guys should definitely go and check it out. I also want to recommend another bisexual book, uh, Little Lion by Brandy Colbert, or Colbert, as some people like to say. I don't even know how she pronounces her last name, which is weird, but this features a bisexual main character, and it also has some good diversity as far as bipolar disorder and a bunch of other cool, sweet stuff, and I just love it so much. Like, hey! Um, and another glorious favorite, another uh, boy that I hold dear to my heart and who would probably be my best friend if they were real. Uh, <laughs> the Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. Uh, Monty, our main character, he is bisexual. And this is actually a historical fiction novel. Um, so in the time period that this is take taking place, bisexuality is kind of like frowned upon. It's kind of like a weird thing. But it has amazing, diverse characters. Uh, his love interest and best friend Percy is uh, biracial or black. He is a person of color. Um, and his little sister uh, is asexual. And she's getting her own book in the sequel companion to this called The Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy, which is coming out pretty soon. And I'm excited. So she's going to have her own little story. And she's asexual and he's bisexual. But again, I love this book with all of my heart. <laughs> like him and Simon. They would be my best friends if they were real. It, Simon would be the sweet, cute, want to go have fun best friend. And Monty would be the let's go party, let's go pick up people best friend. Uh, yeah, so I love that. And I also want to recommend another author, uh, Anna Marie McLemore. She is amazing and sweet and I love her. And she's just the most amazing person ever. Uh, she, she's so cool. Uh, and she is a queer girl herself. Um, these are her two books that I have loved and adored. And I am so looking forward to her new book that doesn't even come out until later this year, which is so bad. But she is really good for writing not only queer girls, but she features uh, trans characters in her books, specifically female to male trans characters. Uh, and they're both really sweet, really adorable tales about love. And I just, plus, the covers. Can you can can we appreciate these covers real quick? Like they're beautiful. They're so beautiful. And this is the I'll create exclusive cover, but the original cover for this book is beautiful as well. Like it was so hard to pick between the books to show. Like it's so pretty. Ah, I love it. And then finally, which has become a recent favor, this was our February Predathon book. Um of the month and that is Let's Talk About Love by Claire Kahn and I know my fellow Pridathon hosts we all agree that this book is amazing the representation is amazing this features a biromantic asexual character and I just fell in love with the story her love interest uh, Takumi is Japanese and there's just such great diversity in this book it is so cool I think the representation is awesome and it just became a recent favorite of mine because, again, it's one of those cute love stories where it's like, oh, my God, you die inside of just all the happiness and everything. So this is what I love. I also have a couple of books that feature gay or uh, queer characters. So I'm just going to mention them real quick. I haven't exactly read all of these yet. I only, I've only read a couple of them and I love them, but the other three I haven't read yet, so I'm just going to show them off real, real quick. Uh, there is Smellbook of the Lost and Found. This features, I think, a queer girl or bisexual character. There is You Know Me Well by Nima LaCour and David Levithan, and it has a gay character and a lesbian character, I believe. There is Ash by Melinda Lowe. Actually, Melinda Lowe, most of her books feature lesbian or bisexual girl characters, but this is a fairy tale retelling of Cinderella, but with a female-female relationship. 
and there's Every Heart a Doorway by Shonda McGuire. Uh, this book is the first book, and it features an asexual character. Um, and then the other companion novel to this, which is kind of like a prequel, uh, Down Among Sticks and Bones, features a lesbian queer relationship as well. And then finally, Amanda Pooty, Daughter of the Burning City. I, this features a glorious queer girl character, and I love it. It's beautiful. So those I wanted to mention real, real quick. So yay. So the next question is, how often do you talk about LGBTQIA books on your channel? And what videos of yours would you recommend people start with if you're looking for LGBTQIA plus content? Um, I kind of don't like center all of my focus on LGBT books. I don't have any specific videos where I just strictly talk about LGBT books. Um, but I have mentioned these books quite a lot, especially Simon, especially Adam Silvera. I love finding a lot of queer books and um, books and especially to learn about other sexualities. Again, I am bisexual, but I like learning about, you know, lesbians, gays, asexual, transgender, transsexual, drag queens, everybody. I love loving about learning about other identities and other sexualities. Um, so I don't really talk about like it centers mainly on all these books, but uh, if you go back through any of my videos, I'm pretty sure I mentioned some of these books at least more than once. Uh, in upcoming further videos, I'm going to be more active on talking about LGBT books because that is something I like to do. I am very active on talking about LGBT on my Instagram and my Twitter, and I want to do that more also on my YouTube channel. So that's what I'm going to plan to do. Um, so. Yeah, I really think the best way to find LGBT content in general is to just search this tag because when I searched it, I saw a lot of booktubers who talk about queer books and LGBT and all this other stuff and fluidity and sexuality and everything. And I'm going to give their channels a try and like start watching them and learn more and everything like that. But yeah, that's basically it. Uh, so... Next question, which kind of ties into my answer, is who are your favorite LGBTQIA plus booktubers? I do not follow a lot of LGBT uh, booktubers. Uh, I mainly follow a lot of bookstagram accounts and Instagram and Twitter accounts where people are talking about LGBT books and stuff like that. I have started to read more people's blogs. <laughs> So, and they will talk about LGBTQ queer books and everything like that. But like I said, just searching this tag, I saw a ton of LGBT uh, channels that I want to give a try. So I can't really name them off the top of my head because I haven't watched their channels yet. They're all in my watch later playlist of all their videos and stuff. But two booktubers who I love and follow and who I usually are my go-to for LGBTQIA plus recommendations. There's Cece over at Problems of a Book Nerd. I love her. And um, in the videos where she and her girlfriend Janelle, they are so cute. But I love her recommendations. I trust her reviews as far as LGBT content and not only in like books, but like media and stuff like that. I trust her. And then my fellow Pridathon host, Kav, over on um, their channel, X Reading Solace X, I think that's the name of it. Uh, they actually have great LGBT recommendations over there. And they are also my fellow Pridathon host. So, yeah. So, like, yeah. But they're, they're my only two in favorites. But I am hoping to look for more you know, people. Um, question five is, when was the first time you encountered an LGBT character in fiction? Uh, I kind of answered this already, and that was actually Simon. He is closer to the bottom of the stack, which is really sad. I am sorry. Um, but uh, he was my first gay character because growing up, I didn't watch a lot of TV shows or movies with gay characters in it. I again, grew up in a very religious and kind of homophobic uh, household. So I did not really encounter LGBT that so much. And if I did, it was only lesbian and gay. And that also kind of contributed to my struggles with my sexuality growing up because 
it was basically me trying to look at everything in black and white. There's only lesbian and gay. Even though I did have crushes on boys, I also had crushes on girls. Uh, even though I was attracted to some boys, I was also attracted to some girls and developed feelings for girls. And I struggled internally. Uh, in any TV shows with gay characters or anything, my mom usually changed the panel or she'll tell me to go in my room or, uh, you know, and I never really thought about it and talked about it. And yes, I had like lesbian or gay friends, but again, I only saw things in black and white. So around the time when I figured out I was bisexual, I heard about Simon and he was coming out and basically his story and my story kind of were very similar in a way, especially since I was in 11th grade and uh, a junior in high school when I was struggling with coming out and he's a junior in high school in the book struggling to come out and he has feelings for blue and I was developing feelings for or really a crush on a girl. Um, sadly though, even though I was in a relationship with a boy, I know that's kind of bad, but still at the same time, I found this girl really attractive and I was starting to crush on her and just Stuff like that so us struggling together was kind of like the best thing ever to happen to me uh especially since um two weeks after i told my friends hey i'm bisexual this book was put in my hand and i read it and i ate it and i carried the book with me every single where i went i met becky and she's the sweetest person ever and i got my book signed and that kind of like blew the door open for me. I since she was friends with Adam Silvera and he debuted around the same time I bought his book. And then I started to look for more LGBT books and just learn about everything. And even though I was mainly reading lesbian and gay to finally read stories where a character was struggling the same way I was struggling really helped me out a lot of to make me feel like I'm not alone. And so when I did discover all my bisexual characters in books and everything, I just like felt over the moon excited and happy and I really started to see myself in books and the rare gemstones where I see a black bisexual girl <laughs> struggling with their sexuality and dating and all this other stuff uh, that 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 rare gem when I see it I get so freaking excited but either way I just felt so happy and so awesome about it and I loved it Okay, and last question, anything else you want to add or in who do I want to tag? Um, well, if you want to do this, I officially tag you uh, to do this. Um, but anything I want to add about this, I am grateful for the BookTube and YA community online on Twitter and Instagram and here. Um, I know there is hate out in the world and everything like that as far as when it comes to LGBT and we still have our struggles and everything like that but I am grateful to meet so many amazing people and so many amazing friends and have so many amazing supporters and followers and for me to follow and be a supporter I love that I am trying to be more active I'm trying to be more open about it and not feel so ashamed about it slightly kind of kind of hard especially when you live with your homophobic family and it's it's a really horrible thing um and I am a cautionary tale of because I know a lot of people say come out and whatever, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. Uh, but if you do, if it's make sure it's safe for you. To me, this is safe because this helped me find my community and find my fellow uh, people of color, my fellow LGBT friends, everybody, my fellow book nerds. This has helped me. But at the same time, I have to be very discreet about it. That's why I've been so discreet, discreet about it on my channel for the past uh, year or two that this channel has been up. But now I am tired now that I am secure and safe as far as my parents won't find out anytime soon. I am more open on doing this, especially since I am going to be going back to school soon. So I definitely want to do this. I want to be more active. I want to be more of a voice and Considering that my book is almost done and it features a female to male trans character and a queer girl character, I know that it's like things are about to change for me. And so, yeah, but um, the, the, thank you guys for watching this video. If you 
tuned into this. Uh, I contemplated doing it for a while, but I definitely wanted to do it after seeing some people do it. And when I looked it up and I saw so many people had done it, I wanted to do it. Uh, I am more, definitely more open now, but <laughs> I, I just, I just love this and I love you guys. And I am grateful for all of the books. This stack is just making me so happy right now. It's, it's scaring me. I am just so, so happy and grateful that I finally got to do this tag. Part of me wanted to wait to upload this during Pride Month, but at the same time, I was like, no, I got to do it now. I want to do it now. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure to leave a comment and like this video and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, you can subscribe to me so you can get notified of when I post new videos. If you want to follow me on any of my social medias, that is linked down below. And if you want to follow my blog or see that blog post I talk about with my coming out story, that is down below as well. And then also, if you want to check out pride that is down below as well. And I will also link my fellow pride host hosts channel because they are super cool. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and remember to keep calm and keep reading.